Hey there everyone, welcome back, and now, today, I have a deck that I had been using previously, Bujins, which was, uh, not super great, and then I updated it when we got Bujingi Crane, which makes this deck so much better, but I've seen a lot of builds running around of, uh, Bujins using Ties of the Brethren, which I wanted to try out, um, because uh, basically lets you flood the field, and you can lock things down with Fire Formation Gyoko, and, uh, I like it. So I thought, hey, let's give it a try. So using Destiny Draw, because obviously Ties of the Brethren takes 2,000 life points, which is what you need to activate Destiny Draw, which is uh, it's very helpful. And the Synchro Monsters are not... They're just there for, for, for fun, just to show five cards in the extra deck. Bujin, Bujin uh, Regalia the Sword, I think, is an interesting uh, addition. One's fine, because I, I, I am running Church's Trap Hole, so... You know, I, want, I don't want too many traps because I want to be able to use this. Basically, you know, the effects are target one Bujin monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand, or target one Banish monster, send it to the graveyard. So, you know, it lets you uh, ban it. So, like, anything that gets banished, for instance, you can get it back into your graveyard, and it's uh, it, it's pretty cool. So, Bujini Centipede obviously lets you uh, pop back row. Fire Formation Gyoko lets you lock down back row. You, you guys all know what these do. So, uh, <laughs> so you know, uh, Bujing Equilin is, is one that I don't think it's seen a lot. Basically, banish from your graveyard, target one face-up card your opponent controls, destroy it. So that's spot removal. We got spot removal with Centipede. We've got lockdown with Gyoko. Uh, Bujingi Sinyo. I have so much trouble saying these. Basically, this one is you know during during uh, is it ban it da damage step or ba yeah, damage step during damage step. You basically add the attack of the mo the opponent's monster to your monster till the end of the turn. Which you gotta be careful because Bujingi Crane, I found this out the hard way, and Bujingi Sinyo interfere with each other. So you can't chain, like, you couldn't chain Bujingi, uh, Bujingi Crane and then Bujingi Sinyo because it'll basically the Sinyo does nothing and then Crane, it just, Crane will just double your attack. So you gotta be careful the way you, you, you rock out with all those. And then uh, Bujingi Arasuda, basically, you know, once per turn, if, if, if a Bujin card was added from your deck to your hand, except by drawing it, while you control this face-up card, so while it's on the field, you can, you can draw one card, just one, discard one card. So it's, it, it works well. If you have Bujin Yamato and Bujin Arasuda on the, on the field together, which is easy to do with Ties of the Brethren, you can get a lot of stuff in the graveyard ready to go. So I just, I want to try this out, see how it goes, get it popping a bit. And uh, season just started, and I haven't really played that much. Uh, you see, Monster World's in effect right now. And Platinum Rank Duel. Here we go. So I think I because I spent so much time doing KC Cup, I didn't actually get King of Games last season. I don't even think I got the Legend. I think I got to like Plat Five and just and just ran out of time. So I actually started in Gold, 14, 14 duels, and now we're in Platinum. Home of the Brave. Here we go. Platinum rank three. So, guessing this is going to be some uh, typical Seto Kaiba shenanigans with dragons or seeing a lot of actually um, for hires running around recently. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and I, I honestly. I could put down fire formation. I don't want to. I don't need to. I will, however, activate Bujin Yamato, and I think here. I like the idea of Centipede. Because that will allow me to I'll have Crane for for the double damage effect. I if if Yamato gets destroyed, I've got Mizu, Mizu, Mikazuchi, which can get summoned to the field. I'll have the ability here to double summon or double lockdown back row, but it doesn't look like we're gonna have to because uh, looks like it's um we're going up against Dragoonity. So this is nice, kinda, because we're probably gonna see the uh, the Vajrayana coming out and Synchro Summon Vajrayana. Yeah. Any flipping day now. Yep. Okay. 
So, you're gonna get out the old, what, what's it called again? Akalos, Akalos. Yeah, so we are gonna lose this bad boy. Oh, you didn't even do the thing. Oh, okay, no, you did. Or, no, you beat down first. Okay, right. that's, that's it. I thought you were about to go in the battle step right there. Okay. That should allow me to... Yep. Special summon. Now, my opponent here has got to be thinking, Hey, why would you do that? Alright. This means we should. We're only gonna lose a little bit. Only gonna lose a little bit. Now, if we can draw something good. Ooh, Quillen, Quillen, Quillen. Alright, so this should be. Oh, no, Quillen's not a Beast Warrior, it's just a beast, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, cu very cute. Very cute. Okay. Alright, well, I... Don't have much I can do. So... Yeah. That's, just, that's a very unfortunate... Very unfortunate matchup right away. Uh, in this case, you would definitely you'd want to have um, ties of the brethren. If you can open up with that, it's really good. It's a, it's weird because you. Why did you do that? Are you toying with me? What what was that all about? You why'd you switch to defense mode? Huh? Okay. Nothing really matters, but all right. I want to know what was this that was so important to Cosmic Cyclone for? That's so strange. Why? I'm not going to forfeit. Just do your dang thing. I don't get that at all. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, you can send your equip card or not. Whatever. I was going to let you get your, your, your 4,000. I was going to let you farm me. Apparently not. So, Dragoonity. That was a good opening hand for my opponent, that's for sure. Literally had the two cards in the deck you needed. And I got poopled. So, what you really want to see here is one of your one of your beast warrior types and ties of the brethren. So, Mikazuchi Yamato. Um, what, what's the one? The blue one. I always forget the blue one. Or, or Arasuda. That, that's, that's the yellow one. One of those. And you can get three on the board. That's really nice. Odeon. Ooh, I wonder what this one's gonna be. Ooh, here we go. Not quite what I wanted. Winged Beast. Yeah, that's not gonna help me. So I think here, I'm going to go ahead and set, I, 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 I don't want to use my crane right away. Unless this is heroes and we're, we're about to get dunked on. That was not a good opening hand. I promise you, we'll get to something good here. We'll get, we'll, we'll get to, a, we'll get to a good, a good showing. Okay. All right. It's not great. See what you got. I'll set the enemy controller. That'll be nice. I would really love to get one of my other monsters. Because I'm pretty the only wing the only winged beast in the deck is Oh, that's strange. I only have two in the deck and I draw both of them. This is this is this is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Give me any of the Beast Warriors. Any of them. Thank you. Thank you. 
Right, I can't wait for it to get what it, what's it called? Floodgate? You gonna floodgate me? Is you, you so you clearly have either floodgate or Paleozoic something. Here we go. All right. You don't have you don't have magic drain. No way do you have magic drain. Arasuda, yeah, okay. So this is good. I like this. We'll be, we'll be able to Destiny draw next turn as well. Which would be real good. Oh, is that Floodgate them all? Oh my god, that's awful. I knew it was Floodgate, but I didn't realize it, uh... I didn't realize it did all of them. That's nutty. That sucks. That's like the whole thing. That was very smart, though, to wait. Alright. Now. So, I have... Is that gonna destroy my... Oh, my God. Grave Squirmer? Yeah. That's prismatic, though. That's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. So now you get to use your other trap card, right? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, Odeon. What a just... Why Why are you a thing? Okay. This'll, this'll do. That'll do. Now. Grave Squirmer again. Are you gonna get rid of my treacherous? Oh my god, that's That's so annoying. It's just Grave Squirmer stall. Who in their right mind put that card in the game? Yep, I'm getting rid of those. I don't know what that, that card did. But I'm getting rid of it. Man eater bug and okay, that's good. Yeah, I want that. I don't know what that is, but I am locking it down. Enemy controller, okay. See, this is where it would be great to have... What's that other... Um, the other boot? I think it's the turtle that negates effects, the target. I think the hair does the same thing, too. Or, like, it prevents you from being... Just, no, it prevents you from being destroyed by battle or card effects. The turtle stops you from being targeted altogether. Okay. That floodgate really did kind of screw me over. I really can't, I don't have any tributes, so I really can't do anything about it. Which makes me a sad, sad panda. Man eater bug! Awesome. So you're gonna get rid of my Mikazuchi? Yep. Okay. Alright. Thing is, you know, you can only do that for so long. Well, no, actually, you can keep doing it because you have endless trap L. Right. So, yeah, we're going to be here all day. I just, I want to know what compels someone to play, to play stall like that. Like, I get it. It's a viable strategy. Sure. It's cool, I guess. But, like, I don't want, I don't, I did not get into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links to play 35-minute duels. I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links to sit on the crapper and, and bust out three duels rapid fire. Alright. You are not a man-eater bug. You are not a man-eater bug. Oh my god. I hate you, Grave Squirmer. Okay. That's... Okay. Because I can...
Alright, this will be this will be okay. We're gonna ditch the centipede. Now you're going you're he's gonna end this trap hell, right? At some point. I assume. If we could draw Galaxy Cyclone. Huh. I'm definitely gonna do that. That's for sure. I don't know what that is, but I'm getting rid of it. It was Treacherous Trap Hole. Okay. You couldn't use it anyways, but now I just put it back in your thing, so that actually helps you. This is so frustrating. We're gonna reverse that, right? Yep. Yep. So, in case you didn't know what that was... Oh my god. The whole point of that... Wait, Mikazuchi should go off, right? No? It's, oh, destroyed by battle or card effect. Yeah. I should have been able to summon Mikazuchi, right? What? Somebody in the comments explain to me why I wasn't... Where, how did I miss the timing on that? When a Beast Warrior type Bujin monster you control is destroyed. Not if, when. And I know it changes. I know it's different. Oh, the point of using the crane there, by the way, was because M Mirror Wall... Or uh, Wall Disruption lowered our attack. Bujingi Crane sets it back to double our original attack. No matter what. So that actually... At the end, and then once the double goes away, we don't go back down to zero. You go to uh, your original attack. Oh, Galaxy Cyclone. Okay, so we we are good to go. My opponent's running out of resources, but I'm also running out of turns. Yep. That's the game. Wow, that's so annoying. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You're you're a cool kid. You're a cool guy. You're a real cool guy. I hope you enjoy the things that you have done to me and the things that you are doing to the people around you. It's uh not a good time. Not a good time. All right. We're, we're, we're having a we're having some real bad luck here that because that 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 game was uh really annoying the other two games we uh kind of had the poopiest of hands but i promise you this deck is good oh okay pl we have somebody here climbing the the ladder right now bandit key so we're probably, probably playing vampires Ooh. it should be a decent matchup I don't like going second. Oh, oh, wow. Don't like going second as much. It's okay, though. Bujim, Bujim Regalia of the Sword will be nice. We'll be able to set that down and, uh... We have the enemy controller. Uh-huh. Gozuki. Send the what? Send Vampire Retainer? Yep. Now special summon the vampire retainer. Send 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 oh what's the what's the other one? Vampire familiar to the graveyard special summon vampire retainer. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. You are you should already know by now how to play this. You don't need to take fifty five minutes and and uh, and the t and you know the time it takes to bake muffins to sit here and make your move. Just do it. Vampire's domain. Okay. Cool. Yeah, set up this whole big turn one thing you're doing. Can't wait. Send send the familiar. So what's the other card in your hand? If if you if if not vampire familiar, but was it vampire vamp? If you sent vampire vamp, what was the other card in your hand? Hmm.
Okay, so I definitely think you have, um, what is it, Vampire Takeover. I'm like, almost 100% positive you have Vampire Takeover. Which means, I want to... I probably should have set the enemy controller. Set that toggle. Mm -hmm. This is going to send you to seventeen hundred, right? I'll still destroy you, right? Yeah, I want to. I want. I want to get rid of this bad boy. What are you doing? Make a move. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I definitely should have set uh, enemy controller. That was bad. That was a mistake. But I think we'll be. Okay. No, no, we won't because Vampire Kingdom adds a thousand or uh, five hundred each. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, especially now. All right, yeah. We're just gonna. I'm not sitting through this. That's my mistake. That's my mistake. Should have set the enemy controller. Mistakes all around. Feel free to roast me in the comments. I know you want to. I can feel the hatred under your fingertips. At your keyboard. Just pounding away at, at that F key. Multiple times. I bet I can guess which four keys on your on your keyboard are the most worn down. Jade and Yuki. Here we go. Alright, we'll get one more. We'll call it a day. we got here Jade and Yuki more like Jade and Miki is it what is that restart what's that skill why is there a pause what's happening it's gotta be restart right does he get restart does Jade and Yuki get restart I don't know it's awkward silence you could probably hear the fan from my computer rendering videos in the background while I record that's a thing. It is restart. Okay, cool. So you, no, no, no turn one draw for you, baby. I guess it doesn't matter because you're going first. But you won't draw next turn either, right? I think that's how that works. I summon a monster. To oh, we're playing Bougins! Wow! Oh, 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 uh oh! This is what I wanted to play. We're about to see the thing I wanted to do. In the meantime, I'll talk about. I just got. I, I saw. I'm into. I've been into this thing recently where I I buy very cheap um, Pokemon bootlegs and mods from China and play them. And I just got this one, Pokemon Orange. And I gotta say, it. it I, I don't. <laughs> it's. It, I can't describe it. Other than you just have to turn it on, and it's supposed to be like the like. It's, it's literally Pokemon Red, but it's supposed to be for, like, the Orange Islands, like, the Orange Island League area, and it, it just, it, the half the game doesn't work, but it's, it's in a delightful and charming way, where, like, sprites don't load properly, so sometimes they're just rectangles on the screen where they're not supposed to be. I love it. I got a few other ones I, I want to try out. I want to try and record them. The problem is, like, actually recording it is difficult. I found a workaround that requires a GameCube, but uh, it's a whole thing. But that'll be happening at some point. Fujima got it. Yeah, okay, do do, the, do your thing. Okay, so that was a lot. You're just a beast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Can I destroy... Gyoko is Beast and Beast Warrior, right? I can't activate it, though. That's a problem. I really... Like, this is such a bad hand. Truly. Truly bad hand. I just gotta get, I gotta get rid of something here. Definitely wanna get rid of Yamato, if anything. And we're gonna play, we're gonna be a little tricky dicky. A little tricky dicky. Because now it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. My crane's not gonna help either, which is a shame. Bujingi Quillen, you know, it's like, I have a one-up in the deck. I have three Yamatos. I don't... Have I opened with a Yamato in any of these games? I don't think so. That's cool. Do you have another one in hand? I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. This is okay. If I can draw a Yamato, we're good. Kinda. Oh, speaking of which, I think Yamato's the card. Yeah. Okay, so. We're going to destroy Galaxy Cyclone first. Destroy that. I'm not sure what it is. We'll destroy it. Okay. You're gonna send, yeah, send the Quillen back to your graveyard so you can banish next turn. But, it's okay. It's all good. Because we're gonna do the same thing. Right? Yes, we are. And now we're going to destroy with our Quillen. Mikazuchi. Goodbye. And now we shall attack. And we're going to get a lot of damage here. In fact, this should be the game. Uh oh. We got to do that now. I, I don't think you have another one, right? Yeah, okay. So it's not the game, but we do, we do survive that. The question is. We send in. Yeah, I think it has to be you. We have to rely on the fact that my opponent's not. Hoping that my opponent's not gonna get another face down. Or another back row card. And now. You're gonna be able to. You're, they're gonna be able to draw a monster, but not do anything with it. Because I think for. Was it. For Quillen, is it a Beast Warrior? Yeah, so there has to be a Bujin monster specifically. Yeah, okay. So it's not a Bujin, it's a Bujingi. Which is a, a distinction some people don't always make, but it's important. Alright, so now we should be able to... No, I don't want to do that, because that, that'll, that'll destroy my... Uh... He banishes his only face up, because that'll destroy my Gyoko. I do have Sinyo. I think we got it. I think we're good. Yes, thank you. It took a mirror match, but we did it. Hooray! So that right there, that's the flexibility I'm talking about. Granted, we did not see Ties of the Brethren really work all that well, but it's... We, it, it's a good card. It happens. And Destiny Draw is really nice because, like, right there, we really needed a Yamato, and then we got it. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Um, please uh, play around with Bujins. They're, I think they're they're pretty good. I mean, they're easy. Like, I, th I would say they're tier three, tier two. No, tier three. They're, they're, they're not overwhelming, but they're definitely definitely decent and a lot of fun. And it's just fun to say Bujin. Bujin Bujingi. Boop, boop, Bujingi. 
I love saying it. It's good. So have yourselves a great day. Hope to see you back next time. And uh, yeah, keep on playing Duel Links. Uh, until, but until next time, uh, Chubalunga.